Hi everyone, it's Pastor Paul Krampitz, and this is from the Pastor's Study. Wanted to uh, share this with you today. This uh, little boat um, has uh, an inscription called the Pastor's Study on it. I'd like to read that for you. The Pastor's Study is a symbol of the calling of the Christian minister to be the shepherd of a flock of God. Here sermons are prepared to feed the congregation on God's holy word. Here the work of the church is planned so that the congregation may grow in grace and bear fruit in fellowship, teaching and witnessing. Here you will always find a friend and counselor in time of need. The pastor will not be surprised at your sins, nor judge you in them, but always invites you to share in the wisdom and love of God, the knowledge and forgiveness of sins, and the saving grace of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. You are always welcome. I, uh, I don't remember where I first got this, uh, who gave it to me, but it's always been uh, one of the uh, very important mementos uh, here in my study at Bethany. And I love that it has a boat on it. You know, the uh, boat was a long time a symbol of the Christian church. In fact, uh, a part of church buildings are named after boats, the nave the Latin root word where we get navy and navel. The nave of the church is where the congregation is seated. It's where the pews are at. And in many church buildings, such as ours here at Bethany, you might imagine the nave as being the inverted keel of a boat. Boats are places in which we find safety in storm. So I always think of that wonderful story in Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, where uh, Jesus is with the disciples uh, on a small boat on the Sea of Galilee, and suddenly a, a storm arises, and the disciples are frightened. They fear, these experienced fishermen, that this storm is so violent that they might perish. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Jesus has been asleep in the boat. He wakes up, he rebukes them, and says, why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? He says to the wind, peace, be still. Um, I wonder if sometimes in our moments of doubt, it feels for us as though Jesus is asleep. We're on the boat of life and there are turbulent waters all around us. We're in the midst of turbulent times right now. Perhaps we lose faith and lose heart and wonder is Jesus asleep? Does he really care? Uh, the promise is that the risen Christ is present with us in the storm and does care and is able and willing to bring a measure of peace into that turbulence. A small measure of that peace comes to us when we are connected to the church, the church, that boat in which Jesus promises to reside, the boat that is built to withstand heavy winds and powerful seas. Boats, you know, aren't meant to be moored at the dock. That's not what they're for. They're meant to set out on voyages, sometimes to uncharted waters. The promise and the good news for this day is that no matter how choppy the waves are, no matter how powerful the wind no matter how uncertain the destination is, Christ is in the boat with us. Christ will say, peace, be still, know that I am Son of God, and I am with you always. Until next time, Pastor Paul from The Pastor Study.